Alright, so hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Village, um, that Village series that we've been working on for the last uh, couple weeks for sure. Uh, I went ahead and built a city center block, I'll, I'll show you the uh, what it looks like in the actual thing. Um, I basically set up a demonstration for the actual um, things uh, for the paths to generate, just the paths itself, not the structures. I did run into a few issues. Uh, this is the first time that I've actually tested this particular copy, so uh, there was probably bound to be some issues to begin with, but um, because we haven't been constantly testing as we were going. So I'll have to sort out some of the uh, problems uh, uh, probably before uh, the next video is published. We might go back to uh, some regular content after this video just so I can have some time to figure it out. But um, I want to make sure that this series, you know, does get completed and stuff. So uh, let's uh, take a look at the actual city center block. Uh, it's just basically just another one of those spawning blocks. It has a one block added. Uh, that procedure basically is what you saw before. It just places the city center block and removes the block after. And uh, what does the city center block look like or structure? Um, we'll hop in game and I'll show you what it currently looks like. All right, I was hoping that nothing would get um, out of place. As long as we don't place down the uh, path blocks, we should be fine. So I've decorated this particular city center block. This is currently what it looks like. Uh, we got some bells here for the villagers. We got some garden areas, a well. Now, one thing about the well is if you want to place water down, you have to put it up against a solid block, then replace that solid block with a stair, or it will just get waterlogged. Uh, one of the things that I did do though was I basically um, dug a little bit deeper because we needed this um, set up um, the way it is uh, for the well part. I needed to go a little bit lower. So one of the things that I think is impacting the performance is, um, I'll get into the, what happened in just a minute, but is the, all the air block ha blocks having to be spawned. So you might, I know I said you might want to set it up and set the filler blocks and stuff like that but I don't think many games will, or computers will be able to handle that kind of performance um, impact. So it's probably best to just reduce it to what you need for generation. For example, uh, this block here would be prime for the top level. So if we count down one, two, three, four, so that's on the fourth block there. So four plus five is nine. So if we set this to nine, uh, we should be able to have a reduced area to work with. Now it will it will go into the um, cliff sides and stuff like that, but it, at least it won't uh, take a really long time or potentially crash the game either. So with that being said, uh, the filler blocks are basically um, pretty bu pretty much pointless now because uh, it's just going to, again, uh, impact the performance too heavily. So you might just want to re restrict it to the level that you need it. For example, these ones can be even reduced to uh, two blocks high uh, because we have some grass here. So we might want to reduce that to two. Uh, we just need to update all these and uh, set these to two and stuff. So um, other than that, uh, once you have your city center block in, uh, what you can do is you can basically place it down. And if you place it down uh, at this current stage, um, what it will look like is a little bit of a mess. Uh, there's some issues with the randomization for the thing, um, the actual path, path blocks. As you can probably notice, I placed it down the uh, city center block here. It just basically replaced it with a path for some reason and carried on with um, going about 2,000 blocks one direction of random paths, which is 
I mean, interesting on its own, but it also crashed my game. But again, I think that was mostly due to the the size of how far it was going and um, the uh, basically the filler blocks and all that extra air blocks and stuff needing to go to height level. So uh, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna probably take a couple weeks off trying to fix this uh, situation up and hopefully get the pass at least aligning properly. So uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, work on that for now. I'm gonna, I did get it to the point in the smaller demonstration where they were going into each other, but it was still an interesting structure thing that you could f figure out, um, you know, kind of build a small village with. But uh, this is on a lot larger scale than I was doing before, so we'll see how it all turns out. Um, we might need to play around with it a little bit more before it's uh, completely stable, but uh, other than that, at least the grid pattern is working, as you can see here. It's, um, uh, this would be one tile right up to here, and it is tiling properly, so <laughs> at least that's a bonus. And uh, we could just work with that and kind of just fix up some of the minor issues, patch it up, and hopefully uh, we'll be working uh, sometime this year. <laughs> Probably not in time for uh, when villages, um, like, uh, pre-generated structures and stuff will be added to my M crater, but, you know, it's still something I want to work on. But other than that, uh, hopefully you guys found some of this uh, interesting. We might even want to fill in the structure blocks just a little bit down um, in height so we can basically uh, fill it at the same level. I think that would look pretty good. So if it's over a cliff or something just a little bit, then at least it has some dimension that it can work with. Uh, but other than that, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.